All right, so at this point, the situation has become pretty dire. I'm buried to pretty much the, the frame. Let's see on this side, it's pretty bad. Uh, I messed up. There's no one out here. It's a Tuesday. No one's gonna come out here. I don't have reception. starting to get a little tight it's been a little while so i'm just gonna go ahead and call it a day plus i got a lot of footage i need to shoot i didn't shoot much b-roll of my new setup so i'm just gonna go drive around and show you my rig you'll be able to see uh, how much uh, the bill signs make a difference you know it's it's nothing that's going to be like super groundbreaking but it is going to be better one thing I'm worried about is the place we're going to go to is infested with mosquitoes. So I'm going to go ahead and hit up Rite Aid, buy some more microwavable food, and, uh, and some drinks, some, some juice so I can mix it with my vodka. And also, my contact over at EcoFlow has advised that they're going to be having their you know Amazon Prime Day sale. The power station I have, the power station that, that I'm using to microwave food, is going to be, I think it's like, I forgot exactly, like 15% off, nothing crazy, but hey, it's a little, it's a little bit of a savings, and as you can see, this uh, River 2 Pro, it's a, it's a pretty decent unit, it's, it's a kind of like in-between from a, you know, a portable power station and a, uh, you know, like a, a full-size powerful unit that could run most appliances like the Delta series or there's some other power stations out there that, uh, you know, output more, but they're going to be really heavy. So the River 2 Pro is 17 pounds and outputs 800 watts. It has the X-Boost technology so that it can handle the surge. Because even though my microwave's 700 watts, it is, it seems to be outputting uh, like anywhere between 750 to 890 or something like that. Yeah, you have no idea how happy I am. Microwaving this food is so awesome. Pain in the ass to bust out a stove, so I I moved away from. It's kind of windy. I'll have to just talk to you guys later, but I did move away from the double burner stoves and just went to a uh, jet boil because of convenience and portability. So it looks like this road up here will lead to the antelope cutoff. And I think that's a pretty cool trail, uh, really scenic. But uh, gotta drive up this. It's like semi steep. Uh, I know I'll get up it just fine. The gearing, even with the 33 inch tire, it's still 18 to 1, 18.0 to 1.
So I've been to Mammoth so many times, but I've never taken this Chalk Bluffs road. So let's go check it out. All right, now we gotta be careful. It's a little muddy too. <laughs> Definitely risking it here. I'm going into sand mode, just in case. I feel like people may have become stuck here. I'm gonna get pinstriped on the right, but you know what, it's a better option than... That's right. Better than getting stuck. Pretty risky maneuver. Ooh. This could just kind of collapse on me here. Look at that. Just use a little momentum there. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. Oh shoot, nah, nah, this right here, this coming up is a no-go, a no-go. But it looks like right after this, that's it. Shoot, so unfortunate. Yeah. So if things go bad, because I have no reception, if things go bad, I have this Garmin Messenger. I could use that to uh, you know, ask for help. It's good. Ooh, look at that. It's a good uh, foot and a half deep. Damage here isn't too bad with all the uh, pinstriping. The bundle wrap is great. Yeah, so uh, I mean, as much as I'd love to shovel this out and, and get through, um, I'm not going to.
Uh oh. Okay, we're almost connected to the old road, but this is getting rutted. This is terrain that I'm pretty comfortable with, so I'm gonna go for it. It's uh, not terribly bad. These ruts up here look pretty legit, but uh, you know, now I have the added clearance. I'm gonna go into sad mode. Okay, this is gonna be a really decent drop right here. You know what, I probably should get out and record this. So this is a little upsetting right here. You can see that someone drove through this. That's illegal. Not sure who done did it, but you shouldn't be doing that. Looks like uh, someone's burning stuff. Maybe they're de-beated a tire. <laughs> I mean, I should heed this as a warning, but it looks like it's uh, it is now dry. Especially look, they drove over the foliage too. That's just crazy. And it looks pretty fresh, right? Looks like it happened in the, in the last month or so. Ooh. <laughs> so this one looks pretty decently bad. I'm gonna have to, uh, let's go just kinda, just put this truss in for a second. Oh yeah, it's hard. Really hard. All right, here we go. I was doing pretty good. And All right, so at this point, the situation has become pretty dire. Um, I'm buried to pretty much the, the frame. Let's see on this side, it's pretty bad uh, I mean if I geez if I just had a winch but I really shouldn't have done it this is out of out of character for me to go exploring uh, one alone and taking this kind of risk I messed up and there's no one out here it's a Tuesday no one's gonna come out here. I don't have reception. So I'm gonna hop on my inReach Messenger. My inReach Messenger app isn't updated, so I can't message people. God dang it. That really sucks. And what I could do is maybe hopefully wait and see if someone passes by, or I could actually hike it over to uh, the hot springs, because I think I might be kind of close at this point. Yes, really disappointing. 
I I just felt my vehicle didn't get stuck too too often um, except in the snow and well in the mud that's when I get that's what's gonna get me stuck I don't even have traction boards I didn't bring them I didn't bring my chains because the snows melted those things really would have helped there is one more thing I'm gonna try and that's brake line locking my driver wheel. I don't think I'm gonna have success, but I do have traction here. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if this, I doubt it. I'm right here and the hot the hot springs and the campsites are just right there so I am gonna huff it it's not that far let me see here 500 feet so we're about 1500 feet from that main road <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my hazards and I'm gonna leave a little note on my car and uh, Take a little hike. All right, here I am walking away from the Honda, which is over there somewhere. Yeah, I know. You guys give me a hard time. I deserve it. But that got me. <laughs> and if that was all dry, I would have gotten through, but problem is, I am basically driving in clay. It could be worse. Um, only like the left side is is buried, like the left rocker. The rocker panel is buried. It's really, you know, can't really jack it up because it's on top of mud. I don't have traction boards because I'm an idiot. But, uh, you know, I should have risked it. I already find, I'm already finding help. There's a lady back there uh, driving a car that I came across. Uh, so I'm just gonna walk to the hot springs and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna come across people that could help out. No, Silverado, don't leave yet. <laughs> There's gonna be a ton of people at the hot springs, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, yeah, no, honestly, if all else fails, <laughs> doormats dude no joke seriously yeah i know you know what i didn't air down i should have aired down i would have made a world because i'm at 40 psi yeah the dog's enjoying it 
Yeah, I don't even know. I, yeah, that I don't even get over. Wow, this you get stuck there. That's Jeez. Tough, yeah, this is. Yeah, so uh what's your name yeah yeah ian and, and do you have an instagram or anything no no social media just old school yeah so all right enjoying the country yeah, I, I appreciate you i mean well yeah let's give this a try <laughs> Like I said, uh, you know what? We should. I. Uh, well, I appreciate your help, and and uh, I definitely would like to reward you. Uh, so. Oh so yeah, that's pretty. That'd be pretty robust. Yeah. I'm yeah. Jump. Okay. Yeah, I'll let you know when you're ready. Um, Right, should I be pulling you more in this direction on the seat? Yeah, push this here and stay on the road. Yeah, probably just stay on the road. Okay, well, uh, yeah, we'll try to do this slow. Conversation with the wife, like twelve hundred is a lot of money. I'm like, I is know. that what they quoted you? They were oh, gonna charge me. <laughs> oh jeez. Well, no, no damage. Good, huh? I'm gonna have to dip into that hot springs to clean off now. Ian, like, no, is there something I can do? Can, do, you, do you need like food or? Uh, I, have, I have vodka. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I'm about to crack a beer, but yeah, uh, I'll, have a, I'll have a drink with you. Well, yeah, we'll work on it. So now I'll finally be able to do what I set out to do, and that's record B-roll of the recent changes to my rig, you know, rooftop tent, Bill Stein, rear shocks, and then 33-inch tires. Also, I uh, wanted to let you guys know about the EcoFlow Amazon Prime sale. As you know, I'm, I'm a proud uh, partner with EcoFlow. Um, I'm definitely honored to be repping their stuff because they're a company that I've always believed in, that I've I purchased their product even before they reached out to me for a partnership. So what I set out to do was microwave some food. And I'm starving. I am so incredibly hungry right now, as you could imagine. So I'm gonna go heat up some food. Inside, but, but 
is gonna spill Oh, can we take a minute, turn and face the critics Let's put flowers in our head like we don't care So now that I've microwaved three different things, I did two Hot Pockets, some taquitos, and then I just did some quiche, 87%. This is out of a 768 watt hour power station. That's 17 pounds, portable. And this is gonna be on sale for a Amazon Prime day. I highly recommend it. We are a vibe, girl. Disco, some fun like one of a kind, girl. Till morning's here. When opinions start to guide us, we won't let them define us. No, we'll play it by ear. And I know that you're shy, but we can clap around. Tonight.